Good afternoon! It's our first episode of PR Buddies. Oh, just in case y'all didn't know what PR means, it's Puerto Rico, not public relations, just in case. And today we have a special birthday! It's my birthday! Oh, also, a weird fact, you might know the three days of darkness that happened in Egypt in the Bible. Um, that happened today, a, a long time ago, and I think my mom told me it was either the Incans or the Mayans that disappeared on this day, and either the Incans or the Mayans changed their way of seeding plants. I don't know that. I just knew that they were taken or missing. Yeah. missing. Well, what's your opinion on that? I don't really have opinions. I yeah, just... she's a church girl, everybody. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't have opinions like that. Mm. But yeah, I'm 15, guys. And today's our first episode, season one, episode one. We didn't really know what we were going to talk about today. What? We had plans, but they were ruined because of our Hispanic parents. Gotta love them. <laughs> and guess we're just gonna introduce talk, her. Talk about ourselves. Yeah, introduce yeah. each other. Yeah. So, tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm a church girl. I go to church every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you're Hispanic, you should totally come to my church in Peabody. They're, they need more people. <laughs> Is it empty? They'll change you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not making jokes. I freaking promise. I'm not making jokes. I'm actually. We actually do need more people, more hoveness. So please. Seventy-seven Walnut Street. And. My church pretty again. I don't. I'm just a church girl. Got three brothers. How's that like? Having three brothers. Mm -hmm. In your house at the same time. It's crazy. Um, I have my twin brother. He's not actually my twin. He's, um, he's not actually my twin. He is, like, he's a month younger than, he's a year and a month younger than me, but we grew up like twins, or we tell everyone we're twins, or maybe I do, I don't know. And my two younger brothers, they're crazy. They fight. I don't really know. <laughs> they're boys. I, I I love my younger brother. I love him so much. Yeah. I have two brothers and one sister. Okay. I wish. My first brother, um, his nickname is Yeyu. I'm not gonna use his government government name. That's illegal. <laughs> and he didn't give him give me permission. Anyways, my brother Yeyu, um he's a grumpy. You, you know that remember the grumpy cat we we grew up with? Yeah, I used to call him Grumpy Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when you look at him, you you think he hates everybody. <laughs> he's a sweetheart. He's Wait, a sweetheart. Is, the, is that cat, is the cat the dude that's the fat one, the yellow one? Like, he's kind of orange. I forgot. The grumpy cat. There's no other grumpy cat. No, I know, but his he eats spaghettis. That, that's Garfield. Garfield. Oh, I thought you were talking about Garfield. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Then my second brother, um, Aggie. Um, he's a sweetheart as well. He's a, he's like a bear. Yeah, very huggable, very annoying, very. You didn't hear that. Brotherly. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't have some much something. I don't have much to say about him because, um, he's in Puerto Rico right now with his new fiance. So congratulations to him. Hope that works out. <laughs> uh, and then my sweet sister. I love my sister. She's my favorite. Sorry. Sorry, Yayo and Eggy. I love you. But I I love my sister. Also, if you didn't guess by the title of this podcast, we're both Puerto Rican. She was born in New York. I was born in Florida. I was born uh, in Kissimmee, Florida. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking of another person. My bad. <laughs> but thank, thank God for me. I was born on the island, raised for five years, and then I moved here. <sighs> I miss Puerto Rico. Even though I go over there every summer. <laughs> I want to go to Puerto Rico really badly. I know. it. Oh, my God. The food there. Oh, my God. 
you go there skinny, you're gonna leave with you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Um, my grandma, Abuela Ida. Oh my god, I love her. I love her cooking though. <sighs> Hispanic, Hispanic grandmas would do it. I forgot. I went to my grandma's house on Saturday. And I ate, um, what did I eat? It was, on the top of my head, it was a soup. And it had plantains. Um, it had beef. I don't know what it, I don't know what it's called. I sound familiar. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not the point. Yeah. And but it was really good. Yeah. But, uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The only thing I remember... Okay, so I think last year or two years ago, I went to Puerto Rico on New Year's, right? And then we were vis- we were we were like on a t- on a tour, visiting everybody. I am so sorry for that. Um. Right, and I think I remember one of my, I think aunts or cousins. I don't know. I I don't remember their title. Okay. Right. Um, I think they told me I used to walk to their house almost every day <laughs> when I was a child. Do you not I don't remember know if this? That's, I, I don't know if that's true or <laughs> I'm making things up or I'm a little cuckoo. Just so slightly. <laughs> um, but yeah, and one of my brothers, actually both of my brothers, told me that I think like a um some sort of Melon. So my dad, my brother, Yeo and Eggie, and my dad, Jose. Um, were like we had like a plant tree mm-hmm. in our front of our house, and they were like, you know, getting it out, yeah. right? I was playing around, and they told me to go back in the house because it's you know dangerous for a kid because yeah. it's a melon, and you know. Yeah. Next thing I know, my brothers tell me a. Uh, a melon or coconut, I don't know what what, what it was, <laughs> fell on my head and it split, split in half. Oh my goodness. In the beginning of the year, a plastic, it's not even a plastic dog. It was like a 3D dog in my computer science class. And it was a big dog head, like a very big dog head. And I hit it with the door and it fell on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it fell. And I told my teachers, like, I'm going to sue this dog. And he said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I don't know the backstory behind the dog, but he told me not to sue that dog, and I was about to sue the dog. But it hit me hard. I literally fell on the floor. It was really funny, though. <laughs> my friends were laughing at me. Oh my, God. My, my brothers were literally laughing at me. I don't remember anything. Oh, my God. I remember... Okay. I, so, I had... I had three dogs. Right? So, I'll, I'll explain to you the layer of the house. Okay, so this is like, so here's like the gate right, right here, and here was the house, and then back here we had like a, I think it was like a farmhouse, mm-hmm. or like a garage, something like that. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was full of chickens, we were big into chickens I guess, <laughs> and in that grand, um, farmhouse we had my, my pit bull Rex, and I think in the same farmhouse, like in the back, we had our my other pit bull, Sasha. She was a sweetheart. She got pregnant one time. She she gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> and my Chihuahua, I actually had a Chihuahua before, <laughs> Luna. Uh, the only thing I remember about her is one time, it's because to enter my house there are like two glass door, one yeah. like our main door glass door, and our like. Want to get into the house? She was right here. I was in here. I was playing like with her. She was growling at me, and I was just sitting here, <laughs> laughing. She saw spirits. Huh? She saw a spirit. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Anyways, but I have two guinea pigs. My I have my guinea pigs. I hear them every time we call. I know. My I love my guinea pigs. So you know. much, but they smell so bad. Clean them. I do clean them. Then they wouldn't smell. No, but their cage smells. Their cage. Then clean the cage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> their cage smells, 
every once in a while. But my guinea pigs, I love them so much. I named them Luna and Daisy. I just remember my guinea pigs. You said your dog, your dog used to be named Luna. <sighs> I love them so much. I love my dog. I literally love my dog. Even the last night she gave me a, a hell of a night. I wish she, I had a dog. Huh? I wish I had a dog. What I have a dog. Go? I technically, technically, I have a dog. His, her, not his. Her name is Honey, but she's at my grandma's house. Honey Balenciaga. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that was my life in Puerto Rico. And what else? What else do I remember? I don't remember anything else. Those, those were like my core memories. From oh, and also we had like a... Um, we had, there was a cliff right here next to the gate, running up, like right here, and there was a abandoned abandoned car right here. Don't know what what that Yo, was about. You, your memories just like aren't spot. <laughs> abandoned car? I would not remember that. Gar. Car. You said gar. I would a speech and a penament. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. A speech and a wait. Impediment. Impediment. <laughs> this is all I blame this on my mom I was born with a stutter I was born with a stutter too but when I'm nervous I don't I think I grew out of that stutter I I, I st oh you did you <laughs> I swear to god every time I stutter I just See, every like, time you say the word stutter you stutter <sighs> I think know this part. Um. Anyways. <laughs> um. Well. Explain your life in a Hispanic household. Just summarize um, it. Don't don't go into details, cause. <laughs> I won't go into details. I mean, okay. I have a Hispanic mother. My father, my biological father, is white. Sadly. But he's also Puerto Rican. He's like me. He's then white he's, and Puerto then Rican. he's Hispanic. I know. He's not white. He's Hispanic. His... No, that, uh, that... Now that I think about it, that doesn't make sense if his mom and his dad is Puerto Rican. How would we, he be white? I have no idea. Anyways, so I'm just fully Puerto Rican at this point. And... <sighs> Um, yeah, my biological dad is Puerto Rican, I guess. My mom's Puerto Rican. I grew up with my stepdad. My life living at home is chaotic because you always, in the house, you always have to clean. My mom Amen has o OCD. She grew up, well, my great-grandmother gave her OCD, and so now my mom has OCD, and she has to have that house cleaned. This Saturday, this Saturday, my mom, I went to my grandma's house, and my mom, my great grandmother, and my aunt switched my room. Cause it was it was it was cluttered. <laughs> and I cried when I got home because they threw out my VCH my V H S not no, VR. V H S movies. That I grew up with since I was, like, I don't even know how old I was. When I was younger, I used to watch Barbie a lot. I used to watch Spider-Man a lot. Batman. Oh, Spider-Man. Oh. Are you deaf? <laughs> 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 I used to watch Spider-Man a lot with my brother. Because, you know, we grew up together. Obviously. Anyways. I got, I was, I was crying over that. My mom thought I wasn't going to cry over some stupid movies. She thought I was going to cry over stuffed animals. But I ended up not crying over stupid stuffed animals. I cried over these movies that had so much memories in them. I Move probably out. worth a lot of money. Huh? I pro probably worth a lot of I money. I know. I told my mom. I said we could have donated those. I mean, like, not sold donated them. them. Sold them. And one movie is like 50 bucks because of how old they are. That's like... And maybe. I had almost 100 movies. That's crazy. Like, we could have been millionaires. That's, five, that's either 500 or 5,000. I could have paid for my flight to Spain right now. 
And mine. <laughs> and his. Oh, his by the way, um, if you want to be a, a sweetheart and donate to the cause, <laughs> donate to the cause. Um, uh, our class of Spanish is going to Spain, Salamanca, Spain. And we really appreciate it if you at least donate something. <laughs> Don't got to be a lot. At least something. A dollar, or, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or just go with our class to Salamanca, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. The more people, the less money it is. We're please trying go. to... Yeah, please. <laughs> There's only 10 people, and we're paying, like, $5,000 each. <sighs> Anyways. Oh. Uh, my... When I was growing up, it was always getting... If we got in trouble... It was either we got our electronics taken away, or you went to that. Yeah, or we would have to. This is nothing bad. Like it was just a little time out. Like sit in the corner. Most likely, stand in the corner. And if you moved while you were in the corner, put your hands up. <laughs> Officer, I didn't do it. Officer. <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah most likely and yeah. oh my goodness i miss i just remember my dog i had a dog named oliver that's honey's that's honey's brother my grandma's dog was oliver but oliver bit my brother's ear like this dude had a whole chunk of his ear almost ripped out it was crazy but anyways i loved him so much i was the only one that took him out and fed him <laughs> And I didn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, my life growing up. Um, well, I was born in Puerto Rico, San Juan, the capital. Interesting, right? And uh, when I was five years old, I moved to Chelsea with my mom. Right? Um, and yeah, and then my dad came, I think, like, maybe two years or one year later that me and my mom moved here. With my brothers and whatnot. We lived in a four bedroom apartment, one bathroom, one kitchen, one living room. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. We were on a second floor, right? And it was like, it was, a, it was a weird layout because this is, the, this was the door, this was my room, this was the kitchen, my mom's room was right here. And then you go right here. This is the living room. Mm -hmm. There was a wall right here. There was a doorway right here. We had like a cabinet full of china, china plates. Mm -hmm. The bathroom was right there. And next to the bathroom was stairs downstairs where mm -hmm. we got our mail. Then down this hall was my dad's room. Then, th then, <laughs> then, Speech and then, <laughs> then in the living room, our my brother's both of my brothers room was right here it was like a a tube door like it was like i think it was either a push door or a sliding door either one of those and they they were fun younger i like boring because they're older yeah and you get older you get more like mature like you don't want to like mature mature am i saying it right <laughs> I'm just with you. Okay. <laughs> Can't do it because I say words wrong sometimes. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, when you get older, you don't want to do the stuff that you did when you were little. Like, now, actually, I can't say that. Actually, maybe I can. When I was, like, I don't even know how old. During quarantine. Oof. <laughs> During quarantine, I was a little more hyper because I was stuck in... in Everybody was. We were all stuck. We were stuck in enclosed spaces. Yeah, I remember that we always... It was all, like, family time. Yeah, I remember Gotcha Life. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It was like we were all in enclosed spaces that we, like, at, we oh, were together. A lot on left. So sad. Yeah. But we were all together that we, like, you know hung out to, with each other but now that we're like i would during quarantine i was like i think it was 10 
We were all 10. Well, obviously, but like we were like 10, 10, 11, one of those. And now that I'm 15 years old, I don't like hanging out. Like, I like to be alone. alone. But like, not also, like, I like to be alone, but then sometimes there's days that I don't want to be alone, that I will interact. Oh my God. I just oh don't like God. the. Um, I, w- I was actually happy in quarantine because in my elementary school, I got severely, not severely, I, I got bullied heavily. I mean, heavily, to the point where, I was just going to say her name. <sighs> Till this one girl tried to trip me down the stairs while going to lunch, right? And then, like, I'm so sorry, Amanda. <laughs> um, and then, one, one time, my grandma came, and my obviously my mom told her about everything. Mm-hmm. And also, school system, please get better on helping people that are getting bullied, because... Yeah, get better, but just don't, like, you know, yeah. hover. Because, like, with teachers hover. I don't like when teachers hover either. And, like, also, my mom, I think my mom told, like, the school, like, a thousand times I was getting bullied like, again and again and again. School, lunch, classes, stairs. Wherever it was, I was getting bullied. Because the teachers don't care. Uh, well, I mean, school teachers care, of course. But they don't pay enough attention they to They won't do things. anything. Like, they like, care, but they won't do anything. By the, the remainder I was there, I was getting bullied, and they didn't do anything. So annoying. I, I, I didn't get bullied last year. I mean, no, in seventh grade, I did get bullied. And I told my vice principal and my counselor... And they did nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. And then I told my mom that the school is doing nothing. And she didn't believe me. Honestly, she didn't believe me. But then when my brothers started getting into trouble and they and they got it on camera that the kid the other kids started, and my mom witnessed that the school is doing absolutely nothing, she actually believed that the school has no system of helping like they have they have a care but they have no care to do something about it i know and i was a lonely as oh sorry lonely ash kid (laughs) when i was younger it was bad it was bad when i was younger i was like i wasn't depressed i was just sad all the time i know anyways but yeah, and then when I got to seventh grade, immediately loved that school. I, I wish I didn't move. Like, mm. I want to move. Why? I don't know. I don't like the you environment. You have your own room. I know. I just don't like the environment in Beverly. Like, it doesn't make Would sense. Would you rather live in Salem? No. But I just don't like the environments of the schools because the middle school doesn't do nothing. You can get bullied in in the high school people get bullied no like but you can actually get hurt in the high school and they won't care like they won't do anything and i don't know it i just i don't know but it we do need to wrap up yeah well thank you for um being here on season one episode one of pr buddies and i hope you have a nice It's getting, it's starting to get dark out. Anyways, um, well, I hope we have a nice day. And nice week. We'll, uh, nice, nice week. And we'll see you next week. And you'll find us on SoundCloud and at YouTube, Bethcam. Well, we'll be posting on our YouTube channel about Bethcam. About Bethcam, and you'll we'll be on Bethcam. Yeah. Oh, and important thing, our release date is Friday. Only Fridays. Well, have a nice day and good night. Bye!